Uh, what you looking for? Oh, hey, buddy. I ain't looking for nothing. It's right here in front of me. Oh, shit. So, say. Oh, well, 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 if it isn't. Wait, are you wearing state police pants? Uh, no, they're police. There's pants with lines on them. Uh. They're like, you know, they're like the barbershop quartet is what I thought they would be. Like the barbershop quartet, you know. Hello, my baby. I'm on, you know, that, that stuff. Are they? You, uh, you really. I believe they're similar to. Listen. Oh, shit. You know, I was going to ask you to be an expert witness, but honestly, I'd prefer to ask you a little, uh, a little question or two here uh -huh. right now. All right. If you're willing to yeah. answer. All right. So, Mr. Jackson, mm -hmm. say me and you lived up in the hills, right? In state owned okay. uh, housing. The municipal government above us uh, All right. gave us a piece of paper. Us? Yeah, they gave us a piece of paper that we could live next to each other. We we became really, really good friends. Okay, um, we like sharing like brown sugar and stuff. Like you come around, I you come, come in my around, back door whenever you want. And, uh, okay. Get some brown sugar out, or jump in the pool, swim. We had that mutual agreement, and we understood it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What happens one day? Uh, the the municipal government says, "Hey, Jose, you're moving houses. We need to refurbish this one. You're no longer in control of it." Um, do you think you still have permission to go over there? Squatter's rights says yes. Oh, yeah. Um, Where are those squatter rights? Good point. Um, are you in New York or something? Mm, no. I, think, hmm. I thought that was a federal thing. Anyway, that... I would say kindly, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I would. Not gonna lie. What do you mean, what the fuck is this? Is in like... Like... You you come you come to my property and you try to kick me out. Yeah, no, I would I would say no. Yeah, like I mean, you wouldn't have the jurisdiction, so to speak. Mm, okay, yeah, I, yeah. That's that's so, a word. That's a word for it. I just wonder if like um, you know we've been on a bigger level where the jurisdictions were maybe like counties, right? There was two counties that were ran by a municipal uh, uh, authority. Kind of like how Los Santos is now, actually. The uh, the Los Santos County. You know what I mean? Just wondering, so like, if the same circumstance happened in which everything went to the state because everything collapsed, and then the state authorized Los Santos as a municipal government to start making mm -hmm. their own laws and push out, but they didn't write a law that said, hey, um, I also want to go uh, have some, some patrol up here in uh, the other counties, if that's good with you, Mr. Legislative Government. Uh, I'm just curious, like, why do you think uh, anyone would have permission to go up there as a police officer and arrest people? Uh, if, if you're referring to my ruling... No, uh, I'm just that's asking you. Okay. I have no idea about your ruling. I forgot what Personally, you said. You're asking for a personal opinion. That's crazy. Nobody really does that to a judge. Um, my personal opinion is two things. First one, complicated. Uh, because, you know, that would entail us having a completely separate government system and everything for the Blaine County and so on and so forth, right? Uh, no. Second word? Cool. Not at all. I think that would if, be interesting. Uh, if a government gave a state, said, hey, here's the power from us to write a constitution, this is our state constitution with you. Right. And from there, you ha you can write any legislation that's just automatically passed from the state. Then mm -hmm. why uh, why would there be a complication to that? It's, if it's all from the state, see that this is this is where my my lines is. It's like way above my pay grade, right? Like if I don't I don't touch the constitution, I ain't gonna mess with any of that, you know. Uh, but if if it's from the state, if it's borrowed power from the state. Uh, then the state is allowed to, to sure. collaborate, right? Mm -hmm. The state, that's, that's, I guess, my thinking of it, is if right. the state gives you the power and says, hey, we are going to collaborate on this, then that's what, the, 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 basically the state kind of owns it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the state roads. That's why they get state police to patrol state roads, because they have a different authority and jurisdiction. Every highway around here would be uh, deemed something similar to that. 
So yeah, but the the legislation is made by the council. I, to be honest with you, I don't get into any of the politics, man. I, I like doing. Well, it the, is the the politics of the law. That's what the legislation, the constitution is. That's what you're here for. No. Yeah, I just like to enforce that. You know, I don't really like to be the the voice of like changing that and like i i just oh, like well, I, get, I like making I rulings it. on that okay so why do you think um me being detained by a uh sheriff's officer would uh would be okay in a place where there's no written legal jurisdiction for uh that officer up there personally or legally from what i heard from the case either or uh legally from the case i heard that there was drawer writing uh, right. That's, that's, so so I, you're, mis- I, you're, was... you're, you're completely missing the point. No matter what crime I did, do you do you, you understand how interstate warrants and inter-county, war- uh, in, inter-county warrants and all that sort of shit work when you don't have jurisdiction? So, you, you so you're, you're okay. I get what you're saying. You're saying that Los Santos is a different county. county from Blaine County. So in Blaine County, you wouldn't have the same jurisdiction unless it was written down somewhere yeah now let me ask you this question you know because we do follow the hot pursuit doctrine do you think that the hot pursuit doctrine would follow suit in that the the, the doctrine that saying would, that uh, that would make sense yeah considering uh majority state and feds would assume anything that is reasonable to protect and uh you know life in america not just you know this municipal government it would be sensible to think you know that would be okay well, if it was to save life, of course. But uh, there's a reason um, officers often call in uh, state patrol and fall back um, because they don't un- necessarily understand all the laws or how... how uh, they're not a professional when it comes to highway pursuits and whatnot and understand when things are too mm. dangerous, all that sort of shit. But it's... Um, it's the same thing. I don't think, uh, who, I don't think you'd be able to do it unless you can prove that. For what high, highway pursuit? Yeah, like who 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 would they call? Whoever the well, the highway patrol or the state police. That's because they're state roads. Conversation. Is that a, is that um, a because I'm gonna have a oh, hey, breakdown. Uh, uh, that is Nino. Wait, who is this? Oh, it's me, Sosa. Just uh, talking to Jackson and trying to pick his brain, and I think he's about to have an aneurysm. I think so. What's up? I understand now. And all right, I'm going to talk to you in a bit. Yeah, let me call you back. I mean, uh, when, you, when you think about it like that, though, logically, what's the, uh, where is the argument in saying, like, it even says in the Constitution that it's a local munici- mun- municipal government, which means it's under uh, a section of boundary, right? And if it says Los Santos, you'd think Los Santos County would be the. Not too much. How you doing? The end result, yeah, right? that's because fair. there's no I Los mean, Santos state. The San Andreas is the state. Yeah, I, I think the lines are blurred for sure. But in which ways when, you and, 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 and when and you I, get a chance, can you give me a call? I will do. Thank you. Um, okay, so, okay, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me say this. Okay, now mm-hmm. me and you live in the, uh, the government housing over here, the little apartments. Okay, imagining. Okay, us two. Uh, we can't afford to live there no more because we ain't paying our rent and the, the two of our uh, banks get... We file for bankruptcy, we get kicked out of the fucking uh, apartments, okay? I don't have my 401k? No, good nothing. Damn it. Uh, mm. But we were best friends and we used to share those apartments. But you come back um, and you're like, hmm, I'm going to go next door because uh, I used to uh, you know, go in there and my friend used to live there. Do you think you got permission mm-hmm. to do that? Um, so, so let me, let me get this straight. The friend that you have, you've been there several other times. There's, is there express, I'm, I'm trying to get to, you both got, is there you, expressed you, consent we, for we you both, being there? We both got kicked out of the government housing. Okay. Okay. And we were the friends. You're on, you're my neighbor. You used to come over, but I don't come back, and you get some money, and you get to come back, okay? Mm, um, when we kicked out, they take control back of their apartments because it's government housing, the local municipal government housing, in fact. Um, so the, uh, the, the, the guy that runs the place, the manager, gets you back in there, and he says, yeah, you can go live in this apartment now. Um, 
and mm. I'll just uh, file the paperwork and the state will just sign it, you know? It's almost like a legislation. Uh, do you think you still have permission to uh, go in the apartment next to you for absolutely, you know, any reason? Not if you ain't paying for it. Hmm. But. You ain't, if you ain't paying for that shit, then Now think about this. Now your... think about this, okay? Your, your, your toilet is the police department, okay? Okay. Uh, the toilet in mine is the sheriff's department. Um, I should go in shit inside the sheriff's department. Of the toilet that belongs in my property? No, the property next door. What's up, Damien? What's up, Jaeger? Is your ass paying for it? The, the answer is no, because I yeah, wish it would no. be there. But now consider this. You walk to the manager, okay? And you said, hey, Mr. Manager, my toilet's fucked up. You mind if I go take a shit in the place next door? And he's like, yeah, you can do that. And then he traps you for being in the other apartment. No, he doesn't trap you because okay. he gave you permission. He's the manager of the. Fucking, yeah, if he if he gives uh, you permission, then yeah. Yeah, well there you go. So, think about this, okay? My toilet is Blaine County. Your toilet is Los Santos County. All right. Uh, all you had to do was ask for fucking permission to get it on paper, and it was okay for you to go up there and start shitting everywhere, motherfucker. It's that simple. Maybe next time when yes. you see a job on treason and states and laws and jurisdictions, you should take the time to understand the very basics of a jurisdictive purpose. Motherfucker. Instead of wasting my life. <laughs> Prick. Holy said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. All right. Well, at least we got the point across without getting objected to. That was nice. <laughs>